Welcome back to Capitol tonight. Before the ink was even dry on a series of 10 election reforms signed into law by Governor Hochul this week, Republicans, including Representative Elise Stefanik, filed a lawsuit arguing that one of those reforms, which expands the use of absentee ballots, quote, reverses the will of the people. The bill in question is the so-called Early Mail Voting Act. Joining us with more is proponent of election reform and the author of this bill, Senate Deputy Majority Leader Mike Giannaris. Great to see you. Hope you've been well. Great to see you, Susan. The intro was, made me chuckle because to hear uh, Trump Republicans talking about reversing the will of the people when they spend much of the post-2020 uh, uh, era trying to reverse the results of the presidential election tells you much of what you need to know about their regard for the will of the voters. Well, why don't we back up and, and start with why you consider this package of 10 bills to be so important? Well, look, since we took the majority in 2019, it has been a top priority of the Senate Democrats to do election reform uh, and make things easier uh, at the ballot box for people. Uh, we had historically been among the worst states in the nation for uh, ease of voting, access to voting, voter participation. Um, and that is why on the first day of session, every single year, we commit ourselves to electoral reforms. That is why we now have early voting in this state, which people avail themselves of on a regular basis and, uh, and enjoy. We have automatic voter registration, which is being implemented. Uh, we, we try and look for um, as many ways as possible to get eligible voters to vote. Uh, and voting by mail is certainly one that um, has been in place in other states in the country. We used it pretty prevalently during the pandemic. And now that the uh, emergency declarations around COVID have expired, uh, we want to give people the continuing ability to vote by mail. All right. So um, on your bill to expand absentee balloting, Republicans argue that New Yorkers already voted against this idea when it was in the form of a ballot question, a constitutional amendment back in 2021. How do you respond to that? Well, just to be clear, the premise of your question is slightly off. It's, it's a little bit technical, but we're not expanding absentee voting. We're allowing people to vote by mail during the early voting period. Um, the Constitution is very clear that the legislature gets to determine the methods of voting. Um, the absentee ballot process deals with people who may be absent or unavailable to go to the polls um, on election day. What we are saying is as a method of early voting, which we now have in this state, uh, you can go show up at the polls on any of those given early days, early voting days, or you can vote by mail if you choose to. Uh, it is something that has been done in both Massachusetts and Pennsylvania, who have nearly identical constitutional provisions as it relates to absentees and other forms of voting. It has withstood legal scrutiny there, and we expect it will here as well. All right, so what are the differences, if any, between the ballot question that voters defeated by a margin of 55 to 45 and your legislation that the governor just signed into law? Well, I just touched on it. The ballot question uh, expanded absentee voting. That deals with people who are absent on election day, un unavailable to go vote on election day for a variety of reasons. During the pandemic, that those reasons were expanded to include fear of uh, communicable diseases. Uh, and so it was essentially an open process where anyone could say, well, I'm concerned about contracting COVID. I'm, right. I want to vote by mail. Uh, it was wildly successful. Many people took advantage of that. Um, and so that that's off to one side. That ballot question was about how do you deal with absentees who are uh, unable to go to the polls for one of the defined reasons. Uh, what we are saying is we now have early voting in this state for uh, a 10 day period leading up to Election Day. Uh, one of the methods by which people can vote early is by mail. Um, so it's a distinction I uh, between voting, being absent from voting on Election Day uh, and a method of voting early. Um, an assemblyman was quoted as saying, a Republican assembly, assemblyman was quoted as saying, um, this bill would be like opening the door to widespread fraud and abuse by utilizing more mail-in ballots. Um, well, we've, we've already done it, and there was little to no evidence of any fraud. Other states that do it uh, as their main form of voting have not seen any evidence of significant fraud. What it comes down to, Susan, the governor touched on this yesterday, and she was absolutely right. Uh, is that there are people who seek to increase their power by denying people the power of their vote. Um, they Republicans know that if more people vote, they lose elections, uh, which is a pretty damning statement for them, uh, that the more people participate in our democracy, the worse they do. And so what they try to do is uh, limit the access to the ballot box for people. It's been going on for decades, by the way, but it's definitely increased throughout the country in the last few years. 
where they just do what they can to limit voter turnout. This is another example of that. I just want to mention to our viewers that according to the Brennan Center, there have been only a handful of, of cases of voter fraud. Um, and it's all very localized. They also point out that for years, military personnel have voted by absentee ballot with virtually no and, problems. And, and Susan, the red herring of voter fraud is right out of the Trump playbook. They have been singing that tune since he lost the 2020 elections. Uh, it is uh, very damaging to our democracy that they would spread these lies. And now they're trying to use it to beat back an effort to allow people to vote by mail. We have been speaking with the Deputy Senate Majority Leader, Mike Giannaris. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks so much, Susan.